Moonlight Nana. Hello everyone, I'm Moonlight Nana and this is my 14th Medibank Paint Pro tutorial video. Thank you for clicking on this video, I hope it can help you start off your first step in your digital art journey. In the previous tutorial video, I explained about the text tool. For this Medibank Paint Pro tutorial, I will be covering the topic of Operation Tool and uh, Divide Tool. As an introduction, the Operation Tool and the Divide Tool have related functions. Therefore, I will be explaining these two tools simultaneously. Uh, also, for your information, both of these tools are rarely used or sometimes not used at all if you are drawing for illustration purposes only. Those who will be using the Operation Tool and the Divide Tool often are the ones who draw comic and or manga. Let's click on the Operation Tool over here first. You'll see that the cursor for the Operation Tool is a stop sign, meaning that this tool cannot be used as is. In order to use the Operation Tool, a material or an object must be on the canvas first. For example, the panels or item materials. For this tutorial video, I will be using the panels material to demonstrate both the Operation and the Divide Tool. Now, to put the panel material on the canvas, head up to the menu bar up here and then click on Layer Item. The drop down menu will open. Search for the Add Panel Material, which is right down here, and then click it. A small window will appear, which is the Comic Panel Property window. It shows the setting for a comics box panel. The line width here refers to the thickness of the box line. You can increase it or decrease it. All right. Below is the border color. And this one refers to the color of the line of the box. There are two options here, the black and the foreground color. Uh, the foreground color by now you should know is the color shown in the window over here. All right, so I will make a line with width 2 and the border color will be black. If you're satisfied with the settings of the box panel, you may click OK and look. Um, there is a border now in place on the canvas. You might also notice that the cursor um, has turned into a small knife or a pocket knife. This is the divide tool symbol. As you can see at the toolbar, the divide tool is now in selection. When you create a panel material like this one, the divide tool will be selected automatically. However, for now, let's return to the operation tool up over here. Just now the operation tool is a stop sign. But now uh, that there is a material on the canvas, which is this border, or also known as the panel box, the cursor has now turned into the symbol like the move tool. With this, you can start using the operation tool. Keep in mind, when you are using the operation tool, you can only make changes on the materials. For example, moving this box panel, like so. You can also change its side measurement by clicking and holding on the point its side, like this, and even the one up here. Or you can also change its size by dragging on the points at its corner, like so. Okay. Uh, now every selection, uh, every selected material has its own menu bar, which are the icons down here. There are materials that make available all of these icons, and there are some that that don't. So for this particular box panel, only these two icons are made available. Let's click on this um, cog icon first. A property window for this box material will appear. Here you can see um, you can set the properties of this box panel. The number over here refers to the thickness of the box panel in pixel. I will set this to 5 pixel and then below over here is the, um, the box to set the line color of the panel. If you choose the apply foreground color, the color selected will be based off from this from this color window. 
and if you click this palette icon the colors that you have said saved in the palette window will be displayed in your selection now what is a palette window i will explain about it in the future medibank paint pro tutorials for now i want the color to be um let me see i'd like to, it to be blue and okay pixel at five will be fine all right so when you're satisfied with the property settings click okay now the box panel changes to what I have set just now which is a uh, 5 pixel width of the line and then blue colored lines now let's take a look at the second icon in this menu mini menu bar this X icon is to delete the material click on it and the material will instantly be gone if you want it back simply click the undo button easy right we now move on to the divide tool the divide tool is used to cut uh, the box panel thus dividing it to smaller parts to cut the box panel first determine the starting point for example like i'll start from up here then you click and hold then drag the mouse in the direction you want to cut you may refer to the thin black line like you see on the screen and then when you're sure you about the direction of the cut you may release the mouse and you'll see that the box which was originally one is now divided in two let's click on the operation tool back over here and uh, you will further find that these two boxes are now two completely different materials both has its own mini menu bar all right now I'll change this one to a uh, red color. Okay. Now, so let's get back to the divide tool. You can use this divide tool to cut more panel materials. You can cut it vertically like how I just did. And then you can also cut it uh, horizontally like this. Okay. Another horizontal line. And also you can cut it in a diagonal direction like so mm -mm. okay right now let's take a look at the function bar of the divide tool which is up here the first is the kerning item at its right is the number uh, level or its amount or value and then beside it is the unit which you can choose either pixel or mm millimeter the kerning refers to the width of vertical cuts. Now check out this vertical cut in the middle. This this one, the long one. The kerning or the vertical width between uh, these two boxes is 1 mm. Now I'll increase the kerning to 3 mm. If you want it to be in pixel, uh, it's up to you. But for me, I'd like it in millimeter first. All right. 3 millimeter and then I'll cut on this upper blue box right over here okay can you see the difference in width between this vertical cut and the and the second vertical cut over here okay can there's a big difference this one is thinner and then this is like wider now let me increase it again just for another demo demonstration to 6 kerning 6 millimeter and then I'll cut again somewhere around the middle just the same and then you can see that the difference between the width of the vertical cut is very much different depending on the the amount input in here you can decrease it or you can increase it it is up to you all right so this is the function of the kerning then we move on to the leading item the leading works similarly like the kerning the only difference is that this time the leading is the width of a horizontal cut let me demonstrate the leading at 3 mm again i can uh, increase it over here then i think i'll cut over here okay so this is a three millimeter width leading and then this one the initial one is a one millimeter millimeter let me increase it up to 6 and then we'll see again how 
wide it becomes so this is a six millimeter leading this is three and this is one so in conclusion the higher the kerning uh, and leading value the wider the gap between the panels for vertical and horizontal cuts respectively now the reset um, item over here doesn't do much changes okay and then the divide diagonally item is to enable you to cut the box panel material diagonally but you don't need to click this already because you can already cut the box like this one um, diagonally okay like this huh? I can't click on ah, like so so this is how you cut it diagonally you don't need to divide it uh, you don't need to activate this item you can already do it like that all right that's it for the divide 2 and its function bar I, uh, it's very easy to understand right so i do hope you got it now let's return to the operation tool over here when you select a rectangle um, panel material the function bar up here doesn't show any extra function items however if you select a panel material other than a rectangle shape then like this one then there will be a preserved length item up here displayed in the function bar of the operation tool but before we um, apply this preserved length item let's play around with the shape of these panels first take a look at these points there are points at each corner of this um, panel shape all right there are also points between the corner which is right here in the middle in a uh, of a straight side line okay you can click on these points at the corner to uh, click and hold to change the shape of the panel like this all right where is it okay changing it like so and then uh, you can also do the same with the one the lines right in the middle here of the straight line like this okay, you can change it and then so that's how you do it click and drag to change the shape of the panel but the one that I want to focus on here is this straight line and the points which is in the middle so Pay attention on how it works when I drag in and out to change the shape and the size. Okay, so this one is how it works when the preserve length is not in check. Now let's check on this preserve length. We select this and it will be applied uh, on the panel with the points. Now let me click on this one again and hold it and look how doesn't change the length no matter how how far I pull or pull in or pull out like this so it remains just the same length I'm talking about this straight line over here so it's very different when I switch this off deactivate this one then I do the same but this time the line gets um, either shorter or long longer so can you see the difference between this is um, the non-preserved length way and then this one is the preserved length okay all right so you can play around with the points like this and this one as well you can play it around and then so you can make a totally different panel material as much as you want something like this and then go um, however creative you'd like to be all right so there you have it the operation tool and the divide tool which have related functions now you don't need to think much of these two tools if you are not drawing comics or manga but if you are a manga or comic artist then the operation tool and the divide tool helps you greatly in your work help help you greatly in your work Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial video of Medibank Paint Pro. Please like this video and subscribe to Moonlight Mana channel or follow me on Facebook. Together we help each other out in our art journey. Have a blessed day ahead everyone.